Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Stevie's P.O. Box. Sorry, it took me a while to upload this new one. We had one of the biggest packages come in ever. Um, mon- it's a, it was a monumental package, and I want to get this the big one out of the way. This one was crazy. Um, I knew... That one time I went to the P.O. Box, uh, the lady said, do you have a car? And I was on my skateboard and I was unable to uh, take it from the P.O. Box. And then Craig had to take me there and the the box felt like it weighed over 50 pounds. But to make the long story short, shout out to my man, Sean Pierre Hernandez. He sent me a straight up Dr. Dre mixing board. I mean, if you could look at this thing. I mean, I, it's, I'm in shock. Like, I don't even know what, where to begin, like how to thank you. Um, I mean, I could basically take this board to, I could be like a professional sound guy. I could take it to a uh, Coachella and like mix one of the stages with this thing. You know what I'm saying? Studio live 32.4.2 AI pre 32 channel mixing board, straight up Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre style. So I wanted to read, thank you so much, Pierre. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I'm gonna have to, I might have to hit up Eddie Kim and Money Mark to, to help me set this thing up. So Pierre, Pierre wrote, much respect and love. A fan for life, forever grateful. Thank you, Stevie, you're the best. Sean, Sean Pierre Hernandez. Love you, brother. This is crazy. This is like probably, I mean, this thing's probably, I mean, we looked it up. It's probably, it is not probably, it's $3,500 just for this. The packaging alone was probably $150 or $170 just to send this thing. Um, I wish you would have said more, I mean, because that's crazy. So much love. I straight up got a mixing board. I mean... If this doesn't inspire to re- me to record more music, I don't know what will, okay? So this is Stevie's P.O. Box, Episode 7. This is crazy. I hope, hopefully this is in focus. Um, Yeah, we're just going to keep opening packages, and let me keep going with the next one. And we all know who it is, because he sends some creative packages right there. And you know it's from my pal Aaron in Hell's Kitchen. Aaron, you know, Aaron's special because I think out of all of the P.O. boxes, this guy's, he has a record for sending the most packages. Yeah, for sure. I have to like kind of review my notes, but I think that is true. And it says right here, Kwangu Productions presents Cowboys and Aliens Part 2. They got Kirby. Wait, Sheriff, look. Little Ray's in that UFO. And then the gals says, they got Kirby too. And then I'm in the middle thinking, what do you want want me to do? But that's actually a cool um, concept for an album. I think there's already a movie called Aliens and Cowboys or Cowboys and Aliens. But let's take a look inside. Shout out to my buddy Aaron from Hell's Kitchen. Let's see what's up. It's an envelope. Steve, since you mentioned you you were a fan of The Shining and you've made and you've made you love made me love of conspiracy theories widely known, I thought you'd like this movie. It's the perfect combination of those two things. A deep dive into the fan theories of what the movie is about. Enjoy. Aaron in Hell's Kitchen. And let's see what he put in the, what's in the package. Ooh, room 237. In 1980, Stanley Kubrick released his masterpiece of modern horror, The Shining. Over 30 years later, we're still struggling to understand its hidden meanings. Rodney's Rodney Asher's wry and provocative documentary, Room 237, fuses fact and fiction through interviews and both fanatics and scholars, creating a kaleidoscopic 
deconstruction of Kubrick's still controversial classic. Thank you so much. Um, that room did scare me in the movie, Aaron. Um, specifically the old granny in the, um, in the bathtub there where, uh, at first when Jack Nicholson walks in there, it's a beautiful model looking lady. And then he makes out with her and then he's like, I, I don't know if he's grabbing onto her breast. I don't know, but he's like embracing her. And then he looks at the reflection in the mirror and it, it, and it ends up being this scary witch. And I just remember the laugh. It's kind of like, <laughs> it's very scary. So thank you for that. I'll definitely check this out. I love documentaries. My favorite documentaries. Let me just put myself on the spot. Uh, the Devil, the Devil, and Daniel Johnston. Uh, the Robert Crumb documentary. Um, there's a lot more. Sorry, my 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 brain froze. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, so that's Aaron from Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, he, you're an honorary member here at uh, Stevie's PO Box. And as you can see, we got a new sign here. It says Stevie's P.O. Box, unboxing and thong and fun. Thong means poo in Korean. I didn't catch it the first time because, I don't know, was, my mind was kind of all over the place. Our next package is from Japan. And it's by my friend, it's from my friend, Huai Tran. Or... Hugh Tran. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's definitely Hugh or Huai Tran. Ooh. I love this. This is great. It's like a formal, like, kind of professional legal letter. Huai Tran, not going to say the address. Dear Steve, World Refugee Day was on June 20th. I am hoping to bring more world attention to the plight of the Lulando family as they head into their eighth month as stranded refugees in Incheon Airport. Sometimes I cannot believe that it has only been two months since my family first met them, ate with them, listened to their story, and even met concerned fellow human being Mr. Y.D. Choi. In 2012, the South Korean Parliament passed Law Number 11298 of 2012 Refugee Act, Here and After Refugee Act, which went into effect in 2013, making the Republic of Korea the first Asian country to have an independent law for refugee protection. Didn't know that. Awesome. One year after the Korean Refugee Act by Judge Seong So Kim. Uh, and it has a website here. Uh, the last two months, we have been lucky to, to lucky to spread the Lulando story in hopes of getting more worldwide attention and public pressure for Korean immigration to allow them in the country and properly begin their asylum asylum seeking process. We hope to raise more awareness with your help. I contacted Asian Boss, and they were able to interview, and it brought more world attention to the family. The video is in French and English subtitles, and I'm hoping to get more awareness to an English-Korean speaking population. Well, my Korean is not the greatest, but I understand Korean uh, mostly when my mom speaks to me. Um, this is where you can be of help. Thank you for your time and attention to this important story. I'm a refugee myself from the Vietnam War, and when I talk with this family, I see my young parents. Please send them kind words Videos of Hope via Facebook. And this is their Facebook, www.facebook.com uh, slash A-L-P-H-Y dot N-K-U-K-A-L-U-L-E-N-D-O. Sincerely, Hugh, 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 or Hugh Tron. Thank you. And then here's... Um, Well, thanks for uh, sharing this with us and um, and to the viewers of this uh, content. And hopefully um, it will spread the, the word out th there to the masses, uh, Mr. Tran. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, and he, he uh, left me some um, smoky curry potato chips. Thank you for that. I'm going to probably eat those tonight. Um, 
I don't know what these are, but it looks like Kim chips. That's what's up. Um, and um, I don't know what this is, but I'm guessing. You know what? I think it's tea because I think it's in Japanese. I don't know how to read. I don't even know how to read that great of Korean. But yeah, I think it's a, it's tea. So thank you for that. I'll check that out. And I think there's more. Um, okay, I I. Th th this is like there's like more documents in here. I mean, I I think, I would. I mean, if you if you. Uh, if you want me to read it, I will. It's it would take like probably like uh like forty five minutes to. There's like a lot of stuff, but let me let me um let me like at least give you the um just so the viewers could uh yeah because they get more into detail about like um, you know as far as what's going on there uh. Yeah. So, but but go to uh, Facebook dot com slash a l p h y dot n k u k a l u, l e n d o. To check that out, yeah, he gets more in detail as far as, uh, yeah, and then it says right here, uh, save Lo Lo Lu Lando. So definitely check that out. Hashtag that um, on Instagram as well as uh, any other uh, platforms. There you go to help the cause. And uh, yeah, there's there's more there too. Yeah, this is crazy. This is like the first time. I mean, I think one of the first times like someone like, cause you know, like the Stevie Weeby show. We we we, uh, we uh, you know, obviously, you know, we talk about reptilians and uh, you know, we review rappers and uh, DJs and comedians. Uh, this is kind of like one of the first times like a, like a serious issue or a cause. Someone has like contacted me and sent me this type of stuff. So it, it's it's, I have to admit, it's a bit overwhelming, but um. I will try to do what I can do by right now by like uh, I just shared it uh, on my uh, Stevie's PL box uh, episode uh, seven there. So shout out Mr. Uh, shout out to Mr. Tron again for uh, to, uh, to to inform us on um, like this current event on what's happening there. OK. Uh, OK, so let's let's keep let's keep let's keep on trucking, huh? Um, this next one is by Carmen. Lily, I believe. Let me check it out. I apologize. Okay, another thing. I apologize for the last um, uh, PO box video because uh, I I'm still learning to use this uh, camera, and I didn't. It wasn't on like the autofocus um, setting, and that's why it was blurry. And I, like I almost la I almost lost sleep over it. I couldn't stand watching it, and I'm surprised it got that, like, even people it, even watched it. So, hopefully this one, I could just tell off the get-go that we're doing better on this one. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, let's keep on trucking. Carmen, Lily, okay. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, you believe this a freaking mixing board, man? That's crazy, man. Okay, so it's a spray-painted... Looks like a reindeer or some kind of animal, huh? Right there. Okay. Yeah, it's a frog. I like frogs. It's a frog. Thank you for that. I got a frog. And, ooh, check it out. We got a, I've got a note. It says frog on top and stated, um, stated uh let me see uh july 10th yeah it's just frog at the top uh wherever there is water there are usually frogs waters water was sacred to the ancient mexicans because they depended on it to help their crops grow if there was little rainfall one season it could destroy the next season's food supply um and uh, something beans and squash because of it because a symbol Coined with all, it's hard to read the handwriting, something gods of water and veg, vegetation. The Aztec god of rain, Tlaloc, Tlaloc, or Choc Choc to the Maya, was worshipped throughout the year with celebrations. Stay golden, Stevie Weeby. Blissful, blissful bandits. I like that. Some knowledge right there, huh? 
some Mayan god knowledge right there, son. We're still going. What's in here? Oh, dang. Look. Oh, man. It's a candle that smells like uh, cappuccino. Love that. All day, every day, huh? This one smells like kind of like um, vanilla almonds. Love that, too. And... Austi Nuts Deluxe Nut Mix. For sure. Nuts all day. Nuts all day. N not those kinds of nuts, but just like almonds and nuts you can eat. Um, Vermont Village Vinegar Shot. Ooh, thank you for that. Ginger and honey. I might have to wake up to that tomorrow morning. What is this? Spring Dragon Longevity Tea. Thank you. Longevity tea for your health. Thank you. Spring spring dragon. And uh, it just keeps going and going. Here's another candle. Sorry. This one's more, uh, I wish you could smell it. It's more like a citrusy, like lemon, like Sprite. Picture, they took a Sprite can and infused it into candle wax. That's what it smells like. Delicious. Oh, these are cool. It's like um, these matches. Look, it's like a parrot on a match box. This is L. Malone. Melon. It's melon on a, a match box. Love this stuff. This is all collectible stuff. I'm going to go through every item. That's how I do it here on the Stevie's P.O. Box. Um, this is called Blue Mag Magic. Healthy inflammation responses, healthy joints, supports antioxidant and cellular protection. Look at this. This is like a E3 live food supplement. Word up. Thank you for that. Dang, I love that. I might have to take this before I go to sleep. Same thing. Thank you. Wow. What's this? Oh, I, I bet you it's soap. Huh? Yes, and it is soap. Oh, man. Austin Natural Soap. Yeah, this is from Texas. Austin Natural Soap. Helpful hands, faces, bodies, turn of the century, coffee soap. Look at that. Shout out to Texas there. I'm going to place that up there because that's next in line. You know I love my soaps. Here's some more beautiful matches. La Rosa Rose. In Spanish. And here's uh, La Maceta. La Maceta. I think that's a plant. A kind nut and spices bar. Thank you for that. You know, Stevie loves them variety packs. And what is this? And another candle. Oh, my God. It smells like vanilla cinnamon. Amazing. Thank you for that. And got a copy of the Austin Chronicle. And on the cover is the good old Colt handgun. Amazing. I'll definitely check this out. Is there anything on here? Maybe there's, uh, well, you know, I'll read it. Uh, I'll put it by the, um, over there by the toilet when I, um, the next time I, I go uh, to the bathroom. Thank you for that. That was really thoughtful. There's one more, another bird on a uh, matchbox. It's called El pa Pajaro. Pajaro. Yeah, my Spanish ain't the best either. Shout out again to my to Carmen from Texas. We love Texas here. And I, if you guys have tuned in here, you guys know that um, I've never been to Texas. And if uh, if you maybe in the future, I'm just going to put this out in the universe. If there's maybe an opportunity for little Ray to do a show there or maybe to do a live uh, podcast out there or whatever you need out there, um, I, I would love to go anywhere in Texas. So I need to go there before. I don't know. It's too late. I, I want to go. So we're going to keep rolling. I'm having fun. Hopefully you're having fun watching this. I got a Dr. Dre mix board here. I mean, you. I could probably, I mean, probably come up with the best sounding mix around, right? This thing's amazing. 
I can't believe I'm still. Pro- it's like almost like overwhelming. Like I'm in shock. Like when we when I opened it and I'm like, Craig, come over. Like I, I think I thought like I was opening the box and I, like I saw like the holes in the back. I go, cause Craig's like, I think it's a computer. It's packaged like a computer. I'm like, nah, that ain't no computer, man. I thought it was like, to be honest with you, I thought it was like some kind of like, some kind of like doll or, or something. I don't know. But it ended up being, a crazy professional mixing board. Wow. Crazy. So shout out to Jean Pierre Hernandez. Sean Sean Jean Sean Pierre Hernandez. Let's keep on trucking. Uh the next uh box is from Andrew Sencion. Sencion from Minnesota. So this one's all the way from Minnesota. And already we're starting strong with the crazy sticker. Look at that. Okay. And another crazy sticker. It's a ninja with the ski mask and a some kind of weapon. Amazing. That could be a tattoo. And kind of like a 50s um model lady. Another kind of old-fashioned like old school kind of like, you know, old school sticker. Um what is this? Pearson salted nut roll. Crunchy, salty, sweet, and chewy. Oh, you know I'm going to devour that. Produced with genetic engineering. Pearson'sCandy.com. Salted nut roll. How can you not love that? That's going to be delicious. So I got Osti nuts and the salted nut roll. Minnesota Public Radio. See, this is shout. I got to shout out Minnesota. Because, you know, a lot, you know, some of the best music comes out from Minnesota. Particularly Atmosphere, right? And uh, Rhyme Sayers. Adidas. It's the Adidas Ape. Okay. It's the Bears sticker right there. Okay. I'm going to go through each and every one of these. Another kind of old school, kind of pinup, um, old school uh, sticker of a gal reaching for her ankles. Okay. These are great. I should put these all over the fridge. There's another one. There's another one. And it just keeps going. There's another one. Okay. And another one. I don't know how do you even kind of cat. These are like burlesque, kind of like burlesque stickers, right there. Okay, and then here's another one. She's um, looking like she's about to take a poo in th- uh, a stack of tires. Look at that, amazing. Uh, matchbox Jim Dandy. It's crazy. People keep sending me matches. I don't know. Maybe it's a sign from the universe, because I don't smoke. I puff on a jewel. It's kind of weird. Another sticker. That's I can't really describe that. It's really transparent. Ooh, what is this? It's a kind of like I don't know. It's, I think it's a table setting. Maybe to put place a plate on it. See? Maybe it's handmade. These are awesome. I think I have matching ones. See, I have a whole set of purple like um kind of placemats for the table. Thank you. There's another one. And another one. Three in a row. Okay. Ooh, I have little um snug um kind of um snuggy socks. Look at these. To keep you warm. These are handmade too, huh? Little snuggle foot mittens. Look at that. Amazing. And look how colorful I think these are handmade. Amazing. Again. I gotta give one of these to Ilani. She would love these, cause like if if she wore, if I gave the, the a pair of these to my girlfriend and she wore these somewhere, no one will have these. These are very unique. Thank you for that. Santa Cruz sticker, boom. I think we're getting okay. And then here's another sticker of, I think it's the person that sent it with his gal or the gal. There you go. Oh, hopefully you can see that. I think it's uh, my 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 in, 
my my intuition feels like this the, these are the people that sent this hopefully there's a letter in here somewhere so i can really get get to the bottom of it uh, this is just it's a opened up package within the box that's weird um yeah there's just so many random things and i hopefully there's a letter they sent me what is this Alenco Auto Scan FM Radio. Look. Isn't that crazy? That's interesting. It works. What? freak me out whoa that's amazing man there's like electro break beats in it <laughs> jeez dude that's amazing thank you so much i'm oh my i've never seen anything like that you know who would appreciate that my man money mark that's something my man money mark would make in his garage he could make that but that's it that's crazy strictly bricks uh, these are like Legos. God, this is these are interesting packages, man. It's like crazy variety packs of like ran, so many random interesting artistic things. Dude, that was crazy. I wonder if that I, I don't know was that programmed in there or was that an actual radio station? God dang, that was pretty cool. And then there's crayons. I mean, this is uh, you know what's crazy is they didn't even leave a like a and this is like. They left me, um, world's best comics. It's like, uh, like a random comic. Oh man, this is crazy. Oh God. And then the, thank God, Lord. Ooh, there's a letter in here. Cause I was gonna, I was getting kind of like, I felt anxious. I'm like, please, Ali, please insert a letter somewhere within this package. Hello, Steve. Well, hello to you. Enjoy the slippers. Thank you. I'm going to give a pair also to my girlfriend, Ailani, for you and your gal. See, I beat you to the punch. I already knew that you are going to say that. My wife made them. Stretch to fit. Andrew Grant from Minnesota. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Andrew Grant from the good old state of Minnesota. Fargo is one of my favorite movies, okay? When I think of Minnesota, I think of Rhyme Sayers and Fargo and Dino Cicerelli. If you don't know who Dino Cicerelli is, look it up on Google. Uh, he used to play for the Minnesota North Stars. And believe it or not, Stevie himself used to play ice hockey himself. And that's no lie. And if you gave me a pair of uh, Coopers, I could, I could skate a couple rounds. Mm-hmm. And this is another, uh, I'm just coming, coming up with this stuff, trivia, hockey trivia. If those of you who know what Cooperalls are, holler at me on the comments below, okay? Cooperalls. Tom and Jerry sticker, boom. God, that radio is crazy cool, huh? And we got Buddha, like a Jade Buddha, boom. Check on that. And just more stickers. This crazy stick. This is cra This is a crazy package. Stickers, stickers, and I think that's about it. And um, here's some more of those um, kind of burlesque stickers. And here's yeah, I think a magnet. Well, thank you for that. This is crazy. So thank you, thank you for that. Um, thanks again to my my buddy Andrew Grant from Minnesota. Wow, crazy. So we're we're to our last. Is this really, yeah? Thank God, we're on. We're to our last package. Man, that radio freaked me out. Okay, and then oh my goodness, I like it like this. I like it. However you guys send it, I love it. But look, letter on top. This one is from 
Nic- Nicola W. Dear Stevie, I wanted to show you and your team some love and support. Love all the content you put out. It's so unique and makes me laugh. I also love the wide variety of guests you bring onto the show. Appreciate that. I look forward to a few more conspiracy theory episodes. I first saw you on Tiger Belly, and now the Stevie Weeby Show is another favorite. I have sent you a few things all the way from Perth, Australia. We are literally on opposite sides of the earth. No doubt. I included a girly gift for Ilani. Whoa, she even spelt my girlfriend's name correctly. Wow. From Jeju Island in fifth in fifth Korea or South Korea, sorry. We visited there last month. Shout out, much love to you, Steve Ilani, Craig Kirby, Stan Low Ray, and Cole the Troll. Wow. They even listed all the 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 peeps involved. I encourage all the other international fans to send in a package to the show from their country. That's a great idea. P.S. Hope you like the purple mattress. Theme wrapping. If customs didn't open it at all, from Nick Insta, uh, Insta's L-A-L-A-S underscore picks. Lalas underscore picks. Thank you. That's very nice of you. I like it. It's, it was an organized letter, too. Personalized. Ooh, and the first thing that I noticed is my football club, Arsenal FC, from North London. We didn't have the best season last year or last season, but hopefully in the in this uh, in the next transfer window we'll uh, we'll get some players. Shout out to uh, Aubameyang, Lacazette, and so on. Okay, so these. Australian made lollipops for Steve and Craig. This brand doesn't use the usual crap ingredients in most lollies. Enjoy. So there's that. Oh, each package has a letter on it. Here are some... So here's that. Here are some cups for your home with a very Australian-style design. The artist has depicted... Cute animals eating very famous icy poles that Aussie 90s kids grew up eating. I gotta open this stuff, huh? There's a koala, there's a quokka, there's a kangaroo, and there's a wombat. Dude, these are amazing. They're called Melamine Cups. Ice Cream Critters by Lily Parrot. La La Land. Amazing. Look at these cups, man. Look at that. Put it right there. I put it right here. Hold up. Let me. I, I kind of like went through. I kind of bypassed the lollipops, but I want to see what's up with the lollipop. They're, they weren't kidding. Not only... There's more than lollipops in here. There's sour squirmies. Squirms. You know I love my gummies. Mmm. Sour squirms. Mmm. And... Snakes. The natural... Um, snake gummies. Delicious. I'm going to keep going. You know what? I'm opening every single one of these on camera because that's why, you know, that's why we got this uh, this thing going, this P.O. Box series. Just in case you are still having issues with dry skin on your private area, I've enclosed this top quality Aussie made QV cream. You could use it every day anywhere on the body. <laughs> Wow, this person really knows um, what's going on with the Stevie Weeby situations, huh? Update, it doesn't get as dry as it used to because I moisturize, but I want to see what's in here. And she's referring to my scrotum. QV cream replenishes dry skin. Look at that. 
perfume-free, dermatological, dermatology formula, pH balance, lanolin free. I'm definitely using this, and you know I will. Thank you so much for that. Well, I like how each one of these has um, like a note. Like it's kind of like a choose your own adventure. Uh, these soaps are by one of my new favorite Australian brands. Thank you. 100% of their profits go to ending poverty and they use more natural ingredients plus no added crap. Smiley face. It's called Thank You Purifying Soap Bar. You know, you know, I love my soaps. I'm gonna, ooh, that's a different kind of smell. I love that. Mm, it smells like kind of like a citrus eucalyptus thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you, sm smoothing soap bar. God, I love the soaps, man. Keep sending the soaps. I love the soaps. I can't get enough. I love this. I love the this the the presentation of this last pack is just woo, awesome. Here's the next one. For Kirby, these seem seem to be the most popular dog treat brand in Australia. Ooh, Kirby's gonna be happy. Schmackos liver treats. All day, every day for Kirby's gonna love it. Thank you so much. Thanks for thinking about my dog. Wow. Schmackos Chewy Twist with Beef Gravy. Look at that. All right. Kirby's going to love it. Thank you so much. And it does, it just keeps going and going. Um, here's Ilani's gift. Last month, my boyfriend and I visited South Korea. Oh my God, it was heaven for beauty products. My new obsession is South Korean face masks. Here are some. For you to try, hope you love them as much as I do. And this is fry line. That's so sweet of you. Oh my goodness, I do love them. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm not gonna open this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually uh, give it to Ilani, and then she. You know what I mean? And she'll be like, Oh my god! You know, like so she could like discover it on her own. So thank you for that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save this one for my girlfriend Ilani, so she could open it up. I want to see her reaction. That's for Ilani. Thank you so much. For Steve, I love soccer too. Oh my goodness. Arsenal Football Club. Support it. Watch it. Support the coach. And we'll end it with that. Arsenal, Arsenal. Arsenal, Arsenal. Thank you so much. Uh, this was amazing. Look, this one was crazy. It's This was almost 40 minutes because of this crazy madness. This is, thank you for all the great packages. Thank you for the letters. Thank you for the, for everything. And this, if you guys like this series, I'll keep doing it, okay? And if you want to um, send your packages so I could keep doing the, the this uh, the show of uh, Stevie's P.O. Box, send your packages to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you for the next episode. Stay tuned. Oh, uh, there's also a new website, uh, StevieWeebyShow.com, so check that out as well. All right, love y'all, and have a great day, or have a good night. Peace. Peace.